Good luck. This marks week 132 of the weekly teaching ladder. We get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent. And get to review the game afterward and see what each of us thought about it. Should be an interesting match. Um, <laughs> this position always has me a bit nervous. Although I've studied it a bit, I don't remember everything about it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I don't understand that move. Do I dare the first teaching ladder game of the new year? Do I dare push my luck as Gota here? and just shove the center pawn all the way up the board. It looks interesting. <laughs> Against lower rated players, I wouldn't think twice about it. Um, hmm. It's my style of play, it's just... Boy, it seems exciting. All right, we're going to do it. <laughs> I suspect they'll just lift the rook. Oh, no. We're actually doing this. No, the, the rook lift seems super natural here. Um, oh, my. Oh, my. Well, we got a game on our hands now. So... I push. <laughs> Who wouldn't push here? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't do much, but it feels right. So now I cut off their rook. Oh. I guess this amounts to the same thing, kind of. Usually I drop the rook back uh, too, but dropping it back one here looks interesting also. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just drop all the way back. Hmm. Let's fight. Oh, also, for the video, let's put a proverb in. What's our first proverb of the year? With the Watchtower Bishop. There is bound to be a brilliant move. Well, we'll see about that.
If I push this, in the exchange, I've helped them activate their pieces one move faster. Let's bring the silver out. Hmm. Here we go. The knight doesn't actually stop me from pushing this. <laughs> Makes it a bit spookier, but it does not stop me. If I push... Pawn takes, silver takes, doesn't complete anything. Hmm. What a funky position. If the king moves to... Oh. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's do this. I'm not seeing a better plan. So we'll go with the plan I do see, even though I don't fully endorse it. All right, they've completed their castle. I'm still working on mine. It's fine. Just spend some time finishing it. And there we go. We exploit the pin. This pin is still a pin. Strange. Let's do it. Huh? I don't understand. What does this mean? All right, here we go. Hmm. 
Not sure what I missed there, but I guess uh, the mutual attack has commenced. And I get to drop a rook on my opponent's back rank. Again, I don't know what this means. I would be nervous to be in my opponent's shoes here. Okay, I remove the knight, which could attack my king. I guess part of the meaning of this is that they're attacking before I could complete my castle. And they're arguing that this is a completed castle, able to withstand any attack I can throw at it. That might be the argument we're having. Um, hmm. Curious. Okay, I remove your lance. If I just take away all their vertical movers, what can they do to me? This seems to suggest itself quite readily. I'm attacking while defending. Again, attacking and defending. Here we go. No surprises here, right? I guess the only surprise is maybe if I do silver takes instead of lance takes, maybe that's somehow surprising, but maybe I don't do that. I haven't made up my mind yet. Maybe I should have dropped a lance uh, to attack the horse, but then it would have stopped me from dropping here if this horse retreated and attacked. Yeah, something's 
not entirely making sense here. Welcome. Yeah. If so most of us VIPs excluded are in emotes only mode. But for sake of viewers, let's put some chat up there on this. Let's put a proverb up there for visual interest. Ah, you call that a night drop? This is a night drop, says the opponent. Uh, yeah, Lincoln's probably right. That definitely looks like a night drop. Uh-huh. Well done. That is very night droppy. Um, interesting. What's the next comment? Let's see. Smiley face. It's a good one. It's a good one. You call that a night drop? Well, okay. I don't have a night to drop. <laughs> I can't call his bluff on that one. Um, however, I do have a piece to drop. Let's drop it. There is a proverb, do not run from a fork. Yeah, trash talking during a ladder game. And not just that, but also me trash talking on potentially a demotion game. Because um, if I lose one more rating point, I don't think I can do it this game, but if I do, um, then I'm back to one Don and have to earn my way back up to two Don again. So, let's see. What's our next proper? <laughs> Promise I'm not doing this to get advice from an engine or anything. Those are random, as generated from the list that was compiled um, by that shogi professional that I credit when I make my YouTube videos. Yep. Okay. So, I was thinking I'd take the night. Still thinking that I take the night here. I'm not comfortable with this, but the important bit is finding a good move, not a comfortable move. Hmm. If I take the horse, if they drop, if I take the knight, I take back, I'm not winning that. Yeah. So I have to take the knight here. Um... Don't get me wrong, this is what I'd plan to do, but it is awkward. The whole plan was to win the tempo here by taking the knight. What has me puzzled is what 
in the world was my opponent thinking when they chose to do this? Um, Cause that looks so, so dangerous to just allow a direct attack on their king. I'm sure they had something in mind. Oh, I see how I messed up. Mm. Hmm. Maybe it's still good enough, though. But yeah, probably knight takes was a mistake. Attempting to run. How courageous. Here we go. Truly. Huh. It's a move. don't understand. Some things are not meant to be understood. No, it makes sense. It's, it's the best attacking try in the position. Um...
これより両読みに入ります。Oh, I have an idea. That's not my original idea. I don't think my original idea worked. So we're using this idea instead. Yep. Hmm, I wonder. 
30秒40秒50秒 1 2 3 I'm not seeing the mate Yes, they're defending their king super well, but、um, we have such an immense material disparity here. <sighs> oh. Well, this is scarier than I thought. Hmm. <laughs> If they drop right there, I can't take the horse like I was planning to take it. But, oh、uh, well, no. This doesn't work how I imagined. Uh, that's no good. That's no good. Okay, well, I mean, this is what I was counting on. That's not check. I thought I saw that I have mate here. Sanjubio. If they continue attacking, I take this and it's checkmate. If the gold moves off the rank, I have mates. Sanjubio. Yonjubio.
30秒40秒50秒12345678910 I don't know what I was thinking there, but I managed to move within the time control. うん。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。秒。
So if the horse advances, I can trap it. Hmm. Interesting. うん。30秒。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6。I wasn't quite prepared for this. Wait, what? Interesting. さん秒。秒。I think I lose. Sanjudio.
30秒40秒Well, maybe it's not a loss, though. Or maybe it was the exchange that fuels this situation. <sighs> um... ご Yeah, I mean, this got immensely complicated, and I'm not sure I'm out of the woods here. I'm really super unsure about what's happening here.
think this loses. Yeah, well, I'm not totally sure. I'm looking at variation after variation here and not seeing a win. No. If I can't defend against this attack, then the material doesn't matter. I don't think I have a perfect defense here. Sanjudiop This got complicated.
30秒30秒。If there, if these pawns weren't in the way and this were a fork, maybe that could work. But yeah, um, Oh, he's going to try to escape his king now. We've got a game ahead of us then. ジュディオ。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9。Hmm. That's mad. <sighs> it's aggressive. Um, Sanju Dio. Here we go. You want a knight? You can have a knight. You can have two knights. How about three? Three knights is a checkmate, they say. But I don't buy it. I've been holding on to that silver drop for a long time.
I'm not sure how to finish this. To my extreme annoyance, I'm not sure how to finish this. That seems super risky. I can't hear the timer anymore, but you can still hear it. Okay, hear it again.
50秒It's too much to read. But now I think I've lost. That's a blunder. You don't need the knight. Don't take it. <sighs> Proving that it's a blunder is another matter. Hmm. What is my opponent doing? Hmm. There is some thread of logic to it. Hmm. 
50秒1 2三十秒。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。I wish this could hold up indefinitely, but it's crashing. It's crashing hard. GG. Well played. Thanks for the game. So then after we're teaching letter game, then we get to review the game. Isn't that exciting? Oh. Uh, I see we got opinions in the crowd. 
Uh, but yeah, well. <laughs> So yeah, not sure if they need a minute, but yeah, we'll soon begin post-game review. That was pretty intense. But since our ratings are too disparate, uh, I actually don't derank from 2 Don. Um, yeah. That was intense. But yeah, we'll get to post-game review in a minute. Oh boy. What an adventure. We had a way to kick off the new year. I could not find a mate. I was looking for mates, I was looking for defenses. When I sacked my bishop to try to win the game, that was probably an overplay. I don't think I actually had a win here. But, um, I don't know. It was exciting. So, yeah, we'll start review when they're ready. This is such a weird game. I didn't expect things to be so wild, even with me pushing my center pawn. I thought surely we were going to play a much... I don't know, more joseki like thing. And this just exploded into this mad endgame. I didn't expect that. Especially because, like, there were... There was at least the one point where I could have opted for the repetition. And against such a high-rated opponent, you know, it would kind of make sense to do that. But we're also playing for a crowd... And I'm a bit of a crowd, too, so I don't mind losing, but it means we get to see more Shogi. So yeah, once he's got a beverage, uh, we'll commence post-game review. That was pretty intense. Should I have had such chances? I don't think my chances should have been so good. But it would have been really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, don't fear the rating system. This applies in chess and shogi and other things. Just because odds favor one player or the other doesn't mean that ratings should determine the outcome. So, yeah, going into this, I was pretty nervous about it, but I did my best to focus. Admittedly, my attention did get split a little bit, um, moderating uh, the chat room as well as the game, but this is a fun New Year occasion. How much can I stall? <laughs> what else can I talk about while waiting? All right, so let's see when he returns. But yeah, this is it's quite an attack. Engines are good at end games. Humans not so much. So I don't intend to focus the post game review on the end game. Yeah, studying end games is a good thing to do. Studying your own end games. Maybe not so much, because people have spent centuries producing the best possible endgames to study. And what's your endgame going to do to stack up against all that? There are much more instructive endgame guides than this kind of thing. But yeah, when they're ready, we'll review. When they're ready, we'll review. Must be a pretty strong drink if it's taking them a while to prepare it. But again, uh, New Year's festivities. What better time to enjoy a strong drink? Um, hmm.
for those watching on YouTube, you could just skip ahead because I do actually put timestamps as to when um, each part of the game, the gameplay, beginning of post-game analysis, and the conclusion. I put timestamps on all of those, so... You know, folks on YouTube don't have to wait. Uh, I guess I could vamp about... Um, I'm probably not going to be making daily Shogi videos for a while. So... Yeah, it takes time and energy to make those. I'm still trying to figure out what to do in terms of my free software and other crowdfunding stuff for hobbies to help prioritize it better. Um, because some people are so successful at their hobbies that it can become their job. And while for many years I've been too proud to admit that, you know, maybe I should be less proud and admit the possibility. All right, cool. All right, so let's go back and look at the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Um, I wonder if this is possible. So, I think my opponent's much better prepped on opening stuff than I am. I don't know. Like, I get that in general you're not supposed to push this vanguard pawn, and it's nice to keep it, but I got carried away in the moment. Um, so, like, I could consider this sort of thing. Uh, they could have opted for a super rapid attack, but they didn't. Okay, so they had a particular opening design in mind. And that's what borne out this idea. Um, hopefully, I don't know what the key moments are in the opening here. I don't study Joseki anywhere near as much as some folks. So I don't know like how super dodgy this is. Ah, okay. Yeah. When did that happen? This one here? Uh. I don't know. But I guess, yeah, he wanted to practice a particular shape, and he got to. Um, so, yeah. I suppose somehow this, like, the notion of them bringing the rook down and the all this shape that they're familiar with um, all factors into their strategy. Whereas I just got to play some aggressive moves. But then I decided later that I was going to tuck my king in the corner. Um. Oh! I see. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's pointing out over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's actually right that, um, yeah, yeah, this, this pin was nice. So I got to throw this in, and he did really did not have a really good way to stop this from happening. Um, just based on what was it? Where did that even happen? This cuts the line here, so I get to exploit this with like that. So yeah, I guess this entirely came to fruition, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I liked their position, but I did get to pull off this whole attack because of that pin. So... Uh, I don't know. To me, this seems pretty even. I don't really know how to evaluate it. Uh, like, yeah, I play a lot of reasonable moves here, but um, their chances are so many. Yeah, okay. Okay, yes, yeah, so if we pursue this... Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, hitting the bishop. Uh, I guess we have to move the bishop here. It's not easy, is it? Huh. It's not easy. Many things could happen here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I should be impressed. This looks so complicated. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh... I could give over the host status if he wants to show a line. Um, but yeah, he mentions he panicked at the critical position. Oh, I guess he was just going back to the game variation. Yeah. This blocks my bishop, doesn't it? But 
I suppose this is what they were looking at during the game, and they assumed I would play this way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what Goto would do here. Like, this cuts this off. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't really know. Oh, okay, I guess that's an idea. Yeah, okay, I guess I could kind of see this. Senta's attack has slowed considerably. I wouldn't say that they're out of the water, but... Hmm. Yeah, this looks tricky. Oh. Yeah, this might be a bit much. Yeah. Yeah, there's tactics for sure. I guess that's the risk of playing this castle and not completing it. Um. This looks really nice for Senta. And super duper difficult for Gota. Yeah. Why not just take... Oh, a piece exchange. Uh... <laughs> uh, if only things were so simple. It would be nice. Yeah, that's close, but not quite there. <laughs> yeah, I think I heavily favor Senta's position because they can maneuver a lot and eventually improve their position a lot. But um, I guess Gota has some chances. We could call it even. Anyway, sure. All right, thanks. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, this is something. Um, I mean, this seems natural to attack and defend simultaneously, but there, um, there might have been other ways to play this. I don't know. Oh, I missed this. Uh, uh, yeah, this looks very heavily favorable for me.
Dang, too passive. That's really unfortunate. That's super unfortunate, because... I don't know. If I had one more attacking piece, this would be super nice. Hmm. Yeah, I should have had chances this game. Yeah, maybe drop the lance first? Yeah. That could be. Um, yeah, maybe this is the way to go. Hmm. Maybe that's right. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, if we take their... Um, yeah, we take the horse. Huh. So maybe I, this is the moment where I relaxed and shouldn't have. Okay, so yeah, maybe this lance drop could have been a vital uh, tempo game. Huh. Yeah, I'm not arguing one way or another about personality here, but um, arguments could be made. He did mention wanting to play this shape, and he did get to play it. Um, and I fully respect that, because I've done the same thing. On many occasions, I've played just the shape I want to play, as opposed to, like, necessarily playing the ideal way to play a position. Um, hmm. Yeah, this seems like a really... Yeah, so my rook drop is not right. Hmm. I assume silver takes us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, here. That's interesting. I was debating this. Is this stupid? I wonder. Okay. Um, I guess at this point I might defend the pawn. Since I know the shape of their attack now, if they're targeting this instead of something more close to my king. And since this horse is not defended, Like, yeah, it'd be great to use my dragon to attack, but it can also defend.
<laughs> I see we're going to litigate this. Um, but no, I think I'm doing very well here. I mean, yeah, it's great to have the dragon directly in the attack. But it can rejoin the attack speedily, so what am I so concerned about? Um, hmm. That's weird. Uh, that's clever. I guess this is why you don't want to move this over. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Um Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Point taken. This improvised silver takes is not super great. But I don't like the other ways to respond here, either. So, do I have to take like that? I don't want to do that. But if I have to, I have to. If I must, I must. Maybe Lance takes... I don't know. Not sure what to do about this sort of thing. This threatens a night drop. Hmm. I guess I have to take this and stop the night drop. Yeah, it's unpleasant, isn't it? I do have some way toward their king, but it's not pleasant. So I guess all this sums up to say my rook drop, while it attacks and defends at the same time, was just very much not the right idea for this particular position. And then had I dropped the lance on 5-2, um, maybe I would have had some really awesome chances. But here it's more complicated. Um, But maybe I'm still better here. Oh, right. <sighs> I forgot. Yep, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess this rook drop back here. Um, 
Or was it this one? This is just super, super bad, and I need something like this instead. Hmm. That hurts just a bit. But I guess that's the truth. No? Okay. Uh, this is so difficult to deal with. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't complete my castle, so I thought this was totally fine because their king looked kind of suspect, but um, yeah, this didn't favor me as heavily as I thought it would. Um, hmm... Yeah, I'm quite confused about all of this, so... Um, yeah, what happened? <sighs> what happened? Is this the critical moment somehow? How can this be? This is how the game went. But somehow this did not look good for me. Yeah, I, I'm struggling to think about any of this at all, so I'm just going to agree with everything he says until he points out, like, what is it that I missed? I don't know. I'm super confused. Like, yeah, I could opt for a repetition without the bishop drop, but... Hmm. Was there, oh, did pawn drop work? Hmm. Hmm. I thought I got mated in every line where I try to win this, except for the one that I played. I kept reading and saw mate after mate after mate, but um, it's possible I saw a ghost somewhere. I'm not sure what the point is that we're looking at. Yeah, Realbird points out that like an 8-3 drop looked reasonable. I just didn't see any line where I could drop on 8-3 without getting mated. Uh, several times I almost dropped on 8-3 and almost got mated, but I didn't see a safe 8-3 drop. Hmm. 
Hmm. What should I like? I don't know what to even consider here. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm not sure what their point is. Everything's hanging. I want to checkmate. I don't want to get checkmated. But there's just too many things to keep track of at the same time. But yeah, I don't see any concrete line in which I checkmate. I think they found all of those and stopped all of those, but I did just could not find something here. Or wherever it was that I was supposed to find it. So, uh, yeah, I think Lincoln's point is that um, both on account of his attack and account of my attack, there should just be a repetition draw. And that there's nothing else to be found here. I think that's his point. It's super hard to improve on this, but... Mm -hmm. But maybe it's possible. Seems like everything results in a draw. Okay, yeah, I guess that's a possible capture. So that's what happens if they try to surround the rook. Well, sure, um, never mind, that's not hanging. Yeah, I guess there's some chances there. Yeah, here, I don't know. This might be the most critical blunder of the game if I should just take the gold. I didn't think I could because my king gets checked, but maybe I should take something here. I don't know. Engines are good at figuring this sort of thing out. I'm not quite as good, but yeah, I guess my rook drop in sequence led to this position. And I was not at all ready for this. There might have been some clever move here, I just couldn't find it. Take the gold, then the silver. I think, yeah, I originally thought about that. And then if I take the gold, they do silver take silver check. And then they take my dragon, and I thought this lost. They might also throw in a silver. Well, no, this extra silver drop doesn't help anything. But yeah, maybe there's stuff going on here. I don't know. Hmm. Repetition may have been best. Yeah. Uh, oops. So, yeah. What a game. What a wild end game. We could spend all day and all night and all day again trying to figure out this end game. There's so many twists and turns to it. Um, yeah, Railbird's providing uh, some very concrete variations. 
uh, my opponent here is pointing out some critical positions, although these are so hard to read out that I can't fault them for, like, like, yeah, they are giving partial variations, and the parts they're explaining are important, but it's so hard for me to understand what's going on here. So I guess I'm the problem. And that's fine. Um, yeah, what an adventure. Uh, <laughs> and I guess we'll look forward to our other teaching ladder game tomorrow. Don't know when the video is going to go up, but either way, uh, this is fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.